the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. This is the Sports Vote Campaign update for Sunday, November 6, 2021. So the SEC's mission is a balance between capital formation and investor protection just to uh, add on to last uh, podcast two weeks ago. Our direct verifiable cash contributions to worldvision.org. This is direct cash contributions uh, provable in any of our financial documents over the last uh, 10 years. It's actually a little less than 10 years, but uh, to make sure we capture it all, 10 years, $193,415 multiplied by an average of about 11 times in terms of corporate matching results in 2.1 um, well, two billion one hundred twenty-seven thousand five hundred sixty-five dollars in charitable direct benefits. Um, this is part of our story, which I'll get into more. Um, Ace was actually there when uh, the nonprofit structure and how we should position it, and whether we should have a secondary beneficiary. All of that conversation took place in front of Ace. I believe it was back in uh, two thousand fourteen, maybe even two thousand thirteen. Uh, why we did this, and uh, we've been doing it ever since through thick and thin. So, more than two million dollars in charitable ben- charitable benefits since we started. Uh, the date should have been Sunday, October twenty first, twenty twenty one. On the last podcast, I misspoke on that. Terraform Labs is suing the SEC over crypto. Um, starting to see some pushback by these entities that are being attacked. I'm not making any claims on whether they're right or wrong. I'm just saying that this is you're starting to see this rather than people just rolling over. Uh, Do not say things publicly or or online that you would not say standing two feet in front of somebody. Did your parents teach you right and wrong? Wall Street Journal piece on uh, gambling ads becoming excessive. Stand by for a clampdown. Uh, You're seeing a lot of cross-jurisdiction advertising that's illegal. According to the Wire Act, they can't advertise for gambling in states where the state hasn't approved it, and that is happening. So this is the overreach, greed, getting out of control. You're going to see pushback on this. The marketplace and the market stock market hype is just absolutely out of control. I mean, it's just hype, 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 and more hype. It's unbelievable. Does anything stand on the merits anymore? Does quality matter anymore? Um, Amish quilts, just as an interesting example, doesn't take hype to sell quality. You don't even have to run advertisements for it. Take a look at the history of what Am- Amish made quilts cost and the stability of the price over a very long period of time. Uh, we live in a world of, of chocolate covered popcorn, apparently, and I guess you got to sell that because the backside of it is a lot of trips to the hospital as you get older. The Baldwin story is. Could evolve. I'm watching that uh, closely to see how far they spin this up, if they're going to spin it up into a gun control, entertainment, violence story. Hard to say at this point. Still developing. But I think if they could, they will try to turn this into why are there so many gun fights in in movies and and then further on um, gun control. Don't be surprised. Um, The ASM concept would have never survived with no money in or out. Uh, This is going on quite a long time. Two financial crashes, a 100-year pandemic, constant attempts to sabotage it both from the inside and the outside, lies and slander, smear campaigns, lawsuits, loss of funding multiple times, server fires, and the list goes on and on for nearly 20 years. And yet, here we are. So, that's uh, that's not a nothing thing. Uh, Trumpism is nostalgia. I get it. Remember the Aguilera Super Bowl commercial design from Costa Rica? I'm on record trying to theme ASM towards the 50s, which nobody wanted. Um, How about just raising up an actual decent person to represent these values instead of a clown? Then you wouldn't have to resort to trickery and lies to win elections. Um, Will your positions sell without a con man involved? If not, maybe there's something fundamentally wrong with them in your platform. You need to take a closer look at that instead of trying to cram stuff down people's throats via a bunch of uh, spin and lies. Don't let your ego control your life. Be open to being wrong and changing direction when you made a mistake. We've all done it. Nobody's perfect. Grown, up, grown adults fix their mistakes. Children cover them up with lies. Lies always require more lies. Listen to that one. Lies always require more lies. 
Let's go, Brandon. I mean, seriously, what other nonsense? Are we are we in a society of third graders? I mean, get your own thoughts. Crypto founder um, Do Kwan is uh, suing the SEC. Uh, I, th- I think this might be the same case. As I said, this is guaranteed press when you push back against these people. Um, I'm personally not opposed to it, but I'm letting uh, Alper guide the ship there in terms of how we want to deal with it. Uh, if it were left up to me, I would have countersued them a long time ago. Uh, I'm not afraid of anybody on this earth. I'm not afraid of any entity on this earth. So, But I have deferred to him on strategy for that. And the effort is to just resolve it out of court. So we'll run that down. Um, if it's not able to be put away in a very, very fair settlement, then court it is and countersuit it is. Uh, Tesla hit $1 trillion market cap. Sometimes it takes a while before the market's ready. Uh, see the history of electric cars. Very long. Goes back much longer than you think. And if you want a more recent example, I've said this over and over again. Take a look at the um, tablet market. That actually came to light. First version of it back in the early 90s. That's the part I became aware of it. So sometimes it takes a very long time to get a new idea across. Um, in our case, sports investing versus sports gambling. 13,000 accounts. So we still add accounts just about every day, sometimes double digits. Um, 13,000 accounts on October 26th, 2021. Uh, DraftKings in Tain. Uh, merger failure, that's just a bunch of nonsense and distraction. I'll get into that further down. As Elon Musk said, what really matters is real production. ASM will produce cash flows to build real businesses instead of scams built on scams, which is gambling. NRHL did not save themselves by hooking up with a scumbag gambling outfit. I wonder why not. I mean, if gambling's so wonderful, why didn't they go tangle up with a gambling outfit and get their uh, business put online? Instead of playing childish games, backstabbing, and making fun of us, they probably should have taken us seriously. We will see if this new generation of brokers like Robin Hood has an appetite to mix with a gambling shop. I think the SEC would probably have some pretty serious problems with that, but, you know, in a world without laws or ethics, who knows anymore? Uh, That will really make a mess of things uh, if that were to happen. Again, no profit to be found in this market by the sports bookers. I've explained this re- the reasoning why, and it's being shown out in the numbers. Look at DraftKings' latest results. It's just if you don't have other operations like ground casinos and uh, you know hotels and and things where people buy other stuff, shops and uh, where they buy um, you know food and all the rest of that, you're gonna have a really tough time because the offshore guys have an advantage on you automatically with the tax, lack of taxes, lack of reporting, lack of regulation. They've been around a long time. The U.K. operators in the um, Costa Rican and other uh, markets are very experienced. Um, They're going to not watch you steal. They're not going to let you steal their customers away. Um, And then you have the Wire Act. So if you don't enforce the Wire Act, uh, then the offshore guys stay in business, remember I said that was the only law that anybody cared about offshore was the Wire Act. PASPA never came up. Maybe one conversation I can remember about PASPA. The holy mother of them all was the Wire Act, which is still in force and is restated early in 2021, early this year through a court decision. So uh, you're kind of in a trap here. If you don't enforce the Wire Act, then the offshore guys eat your lunch. If you do enforce the Wire Act, then you got to take everybody down, including the onshore guys. China-Taiwan conflict, I'm sorry, but if you go back and read the treaty um, or the agreements that were made regarding Taiwan, China's in the right and everybody else is in the wrong. They're just taking back what was agreed after um, 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 in the Japan Treaty specifically. So look that up for yourself. I'm not buying the bullshit on this. Um, I can tell when the economy is getting rocky by the volume of spam, scam emails and phone calls I get, which has gone hugely up. Uh, in the last, um, I would say, four to six weeks. Meta and Metaverse, um, yeah, let's uh, keep disconnecting more and more from reality and we'll end up idiocracy. Look that movie up. Um, That's a tell of the future. Uh, Okay, so here's an idea for solving the legal problems of the world and getting these parasites out of the system. So plaintiff submits one brief with all evidence, videos, audios, and whatever in digital format. Defendant submits the same thing. Each pays $99. And then a final binding judgment through artificial intelligence in less than 60 seconds. No appeals. No other jurisdictions. No cross-jurisdictional complaints and all that other nonsense. 
uh, think of what that world would look like. Combine that with a 10% global VAT and things would start going the right direction very quickly. Also, Meta is a distraction and a response to the Trumpster social network, which is a complete cocked up mess. Uh, what else would you expect from this clown? Um, looks like the SEC is going to get involved in that because they used the SPAC shortcut um, in an illegal way. Uh, you know, when you continue to break the laws like this, you got the former president, and I said former president for all you people who are lost in the rabbit hole, who doesn't follow the laws and goes out and does stuff like this. Do you understand the signal that that sends out as far as people having to follow the laws? If the former president is not going to follow the laws, then don't expect me to follow the laws. Get lost. So DraftKings is blatantly advertising in markets where it's illegal. So let's keep pushing the envelope, guys. You know, that seems to be human nature. Push things until to you to break everything apart, which, you know, fine, go for it. You're on the road to destruction as it is. There's so many legal issues going on now. Uh, just keep piling on top. Keep piling on top. One thing on top of the other. There's the SPAC issues. Um, there's a bunch of investigations going on uh, and legal claims and lawyers. Uh, go ahead and pretend like that's not news anymore. That doesn't mean it's gone. Uh, it's not gone. And the list is growing every day. So, right? so law is schmoz. Yeah, keep it up. Somebody's going to find a way to uh, make this profitable, align the incentives, and then you're going to see uh, the takedown. Major League Baseball um, is introducing robot uh, umpires. That's pretty interesting. The story of the tortoise and the hare. Um, who won that race? Uh, another one for the, you know, people who like to uh, think that everything is instantly fixed and, and it's just snap your fingers and if you're not doing it in the next 30 seconds, then it doesn't have any value. Okie dokie. Yeah, yeah you're, uh, keep up with that. Keep going that direction. See where it leads you in your life. Unfortunately, this uh, I said this South Carolina attorney situation is a much bigger story than it appears to be. Um, it's kind of a showcase news item because this guy is so unbelievably corrupt, but I'm telling you the legal system is corrupt to the core. It's rotten to the core. Um, the incentive structure is the better you lie, the more money you make. Um, that's the current incentive structure, and once you get on that path, it spreads through your whole life like cancer. So... I know plenty of personal stories uh, of attorneys that have uh, gone bad, people I grew up with, people that I've been around. Their lives usually end pretty abruptly um, in one way or another. So um, there is a price to pay for doing the wrong thing. China says that crypto is a big pyramid scheme. Yeah, couldn't agree more with that. How many times have I said that? I pretty much said it from the beginning more than 10 years ago. So Goldman Sachs... Um, yeah, there's the headlining of stories these days, mixing the terms gamble and invest, gamble and invest. It's obvious that they're trying to cause confusion. There is an agenda at work here to try to make gambling and investing the same thing. Um, Alper, actually, Alper said this a very long time ago, even before I, um, I really got this, that that's what they're doing. There's no question that's what they're doing. Uh, it's trying to mishmash all that stuff together. Um, there were three, which is very bad. Shame on you. And uh, we're we're working every way we can to try to separate those things and draw the lines while others are trying to mix them together. Three major crypto scams in a single day on November 1st, 2021, and a 300 megawatt uh, crypto farm. I mean, 300 megawatt farm in Texas. I mean, it's just completely nuts. If you If you know anything about electric power, you know how much, how enormous that is. Um, you know, kind of power necessary to, uh, you know, that's the power level necessary to, uh, to keep the lights on in a large region of people, you know, in the country. It's just unbelievable. The size of a power plant. Um, completely nuts. My grandfather was in electric uh, power, so I know more about this than the average person does. Um, so humanity has gone completely nuts. Uh, absolutely insanity, like insanity on top of insanity. Zillow has shut down their home flipping business. Um, yeah, I didn't know they were in the home flipping business because of losses in Arizona. Uh, that is a very, very strong leading indicator. Uh, go back to 2008. It's what's called the sand states. They tend to crash first. Uh, beach cities and desert cities. So look out.
<laughs> the stimulus is uh, running dry, and when the stimulus runs dry, that's going to pull the rug out from underneath the housing market, and then it's going to bring everything down with it. All right, so uh, there seems to be a few more attempts at player-based stock markets, including one that is um, using our direct trademark as the world's first sports stock market. Yeah, shame on you and even a law student from Harvard that just proves my point about how rotten the legal system is. The hell you are, okay, the hell you are. So first of all, the play player market has fallen apart how many times now? Most recently, Fantex. Um, we have the trademark on world's first sports stock market. Uh, so you're going to be getting a letter in the mail, and if that doesn't do it, you're going to be getting a legal demand. If that doesn't do it, you're going to get sued. Um, first of all, it's easily verifiable in the public domain that that's a lie going back 20 years. We created the concept of, world, of the sports stock market 20 years ago. We have public uh, media, including CNBC, uh, about four years ago, which doesn't get any bigger than that in the financial world, uh, saying the same thing. Gambling is for losers. Gambling is for losers. Gambling is for losers. I just uh, heard a story from my mom about a bunch of travel trailers behind the casino. She brought this up on her own. I, she said, yeah. Uh, she asked somebody, what are all those travel trailers behind the casino? Kind of looked like some of them had been there a while. Well, that's people who lost them to their gambling habit. So, yeah, let's have more of that. Let's have more of that. It's good stuff. Um, ASM sports vote and the new sports economy is a holy war, okay? And I make no apology for it. Uh, see the 70s podcast as the starting point of my proof, and I'm going to keep adding on to that probably as long as I'm alive. Gambling preys on the simple-minded and or the greedy. I'm going to say that again nice and slow. Gambling preys on the simple-minded and or the greedy. The idea of something for nothing which does not exist in this world, and it never will. Federal Reserve is starting to withdraw the emergency support for the economy, meaning they're going to stop printing money. Uh, yeah, that's when the wheels fall off. So that's a second data point outside of the sand states uh, crashing, Zillow pulling the plug on their house flipping operation. Uh, Robin Hood is losing money hand over fist as well. So pretty reckless the way these companies are doing business these days. Um, but, you know, when you got the president of the United States that can't get it straight, well, you know, former president who can't follow the SEC laws, what do you expect from anybody else, right? You're just telling everybody, go out and do what you want, right? And that's what we want. We want no rules because that works great. Uh, question to allow sports betting on New Jersey sports. Uh, there's a legal decision, pretty consequential one. Um, or actually, this was a referendum, I believe. It was rejected. The, the link is in the outline um, on the... Notice board on the website if you want to see it. That's a pretty big kick in the face, um, which is good. Anything to suppress the gambling stuff. So prediction strike is the uh, violate, violating our trademark, not to mention telling the world a lie. Our serial number is 865-45631. Again, 865-45631, world's first sports stock market. That's the trademark. So that's a direct legal uh, violation of our trademark. Plus, it's easily proven that you're not the first sports stock market, and you're a Harvard law student. <laughs> you damn well know this is a lie. You can't possibly uh, avoid us if you do a, a, a search on, on any, pick your search engine. Uh, we're always on the top of the results in every uh, relevant keyboard. I've tried a uh, keyword. I've tried it from all uh, VPNs all over the world just to be sure. So you know we're here and you say that anyway. So it's, that, that tells me what kind of character you are. You're just a scumbag along with a lot of other scumbags. But that's just the lawlessness of the world. And plus you, you put together a, you put together a model that's never going to work. The player model, I mean, did you do your homework? It's failed a half dozen times. Um, on a major scale, more than $50 million down the drain. So hope your investors are ready to lose everything they put in because public doesn't go for this. Um, it's been tried with more talent and more money than you got, and it didn't work. So, man, I just, you know, you do your research, you see us in there, and you go ahead and put that on your homepage anyway. That's, uh, you, 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 you've pretty much identified the kind of character you are. Um, and a law student, that's laughable. Uh, that's really laughable. Uh, okay, so uh, DraftKings, I said on this podcast that they'd missed by 25% or more. If you don't believe me, go back and play it. Play it. Um, they did. They missed by 35%, actually closer to 40% um, of the loss. So they lost uh, more than $1.35 a share. So they lost a half billion dollars. Uh, 
$544 million in a quarter. That's Congratulations, guys. Uh, $213 million in sales, $544 million in expenses. Uh, I said they keep losing money at an ever-growing and faster rate. I've been right on that every single time. I've made that claim. I've made calls on their their losses now for a year. If I would have been a trader on the market and actually put my own money uh, to work on my on my ideas, I I would have made a pile of money. It's not my motivation. Uh, I don't care about that. I care about the mission here, and I care about getting things right. So they've lost more than two fifty for every dollar. That's the most recent quarter that they took in. That's a nice that's a nice business model you got going, guys. Um, I know that uh, they're telling this story. This is cost per acquisition, but you can't you can't acquire customers at an increasing loss. Sports gamblers are bonus jumpers. Okay, they don't have any loyalty. So what you're doing is you're you're artificially paying them out from money you're transferring from the stock market and from loans. And then once you stop doing that, they're going to jump ship and go somewhere else. So there is no customer retention. Your business model is flawed to the core. Uh, not to the mention selling poison to people at a huge loss. Congratulations. Good job. Okay. Uh, liars, jerks, and idiots. Yeah. Back to the thieves uh, putting world's first sports stock market on their homepage. There's no way in hell that you don't know that's a lie. No way. Uh, December 15, 2017, the CNBC piece. It's even in that. Um, that's one where uh, Zach went to New York and sat down with Joe Kernan. So forget it, man. I mean, what the heck are you thinking? So you're going to get a letter in the mail. You're going to take that off of there. You're going to get sued. Simple as that. Uh, hype, 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 hype. Lies. Okay, so uh, DraftKings tried to spend the numbers. It's just p- complete lies. Better than expected, really. I mean, how can you say that with a straight face? But in a world of lies, 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 and more lies, um, I guess that's just how things work these days, right? Up is down, down is up, left is right, right is left. Um, yeah, if I would have traded on the information um, that I put out about DraftKings, I would have a yacht right now. So, But I don't care about that. I care about getting the information correctly. You want to trade on it? Go for it. I've been right over and over and over again. Have you know, do your just be careful in the markets in general. But I I know this business from the inside. Remember down in Costa Rica, so I know they th- there's no magic formula here. Uh, it's a thin margin business in, at best, even if you do it perfectly correctly, uh, which nobody does. Um, it's really about cash flows. But even to have those cash flows work, you got to be really good at it, extremely good at it. Lots of history. You have to really really know what you're doing. And the U.K. bucks that operate offshore in places like Costa Rica, they have been doing it for more than 20 years. They're going to eat your lunch. Some of, I mean, if you go back to the U.K. operators, it's much longer than 20 years. But they've been doing it offshore 20 years. Another lie from the uh, DraftKings scumbag CEO. Oh, there's many decades of not having illegal. Yeah, saying there's pent-up demand for many uh, decades of people having a legal option outside of Nevada. But that's complete nonsense, and your numbers show it. But uh, what what could be expected from a lying scumbag sin peddler of toxic waste? I mean, reprobates have long known where to get their fix before you came along, bucko. Another thing. Okay, so the intend intend deal that fell apart. Oh, yes, we uh, decided to pull the plug on that because we have to focus on the U.S. How can you say that with a straight face? The reason you pulled the plug on that is because your stock price crashed and you couldn't afford it. And they probably got into the due diligence and said, we're not going to get involved with this. You guys have got so much legal stuff hanging over your heads. Forget it. That's what really happened. So another lie in a long series of lies. Okay, so my life's work is going to come down to this one project, which is going to go on uh, after Alper takes over. If anybody's interested, go to HollywoodSportsBible.com. HollywoodSportsBible.com. That's that's the, going to be the culmination of of all of my life's work, including ASM, is going to go right there. And then finally, um, all of the resources are updated in the show notes. If you want to keep up with all the other stuff, it's all in the show notes of each podcast. If you want to support this work, um, you know, by donation, then please uh, see the show notes as well. 140 percent. That's that's correct, because it's 10 percent of whatever you put in is multiplied 14 times. So it's actually more cash out than cash in. 140 percent of any contribution will fund educational 
uh, efforts in the U.S. through worldvision.org. Thank you very much for your time and attention, and have a good weekend. Bye now.